Hello. So we're going to look at the Ruger SP-101. Uh, well, you can see it there. Um, so it's a five-shot 357 Magnum revolver with a little uh, two-and-a-half-inch barrel on it or something like that, it looks like. Um, it's double action, single action. And let's... We'll get uh, some weights and some trigger pulls. So it's uh, 20, 28 and a half, uh, 29, 29 pound, uh, 29 ounces. Sorry. Um, so let's get a double action trigger pull on it. So revolver is always hard because you can't hold the cylinders. So 10 pounds, 14 ounces. So it's it's normal. It's not super light. Let's see how it works in uh, a single action. Single action is uh, three pounds, three ounces. So, I mean, it's a nice smooth trigger. So it may not be um, light on the double action, but it's a smooth trigger. Um, now he he my brother picked this up used, so uh, I figured we'd take a look at it and stuff. Now the hand grips, uh, I don't know if these were factory or if they're aftermarket. They look really nice, but shooting it, there's no give. So uh, that's one of the things that um, I I don't you you could they feel really good, but there's no rubber pad. So, um, and then the cylinder release is right there. Typical injection and stuff. Um, but let's take it out to the range and see how it shoots. Hello. So today we're going to look at a Ruger SP-01. This is a 357 Magnum. It's a five shot Magnum. Let's load it up. And see how it shoots. Yeah, that's, that's definitely got a little bit of a snap to it. Those were, um, I was firing at a 158 grain jacketed bullets arm score, and you can feel it after five rounds. But again, that's the Ruger SP-101 in 357 Mag. So, out at the range, uh, it, shoot, it shot fine. Uh, definitely the, the hand grips Without the rubber, you could feel it. It was, uh, it's got quite a bit of snap to it with firing the 357 Magnum rounds. These are the rounds that I was firing. They're 158 grain jacketed. So, um, so it had a little bit of a snap to it. Uh, as far as accuracy, well, um, that's, that's how it did. But the, the, thing that I have to say is the target I was aiming for was here. So I, I staple them up usually like this and I was shooting at this and they were hitting over there. And that was about 12 yards. So uh, I don't know uh, they fixed sights. You know, there's just nothing. Someone painted it green up front, but uh, that's just pinned. I don't know if you can adjust that at all but it, it's basically machined in the back so um at tw 12 yards that's probably a little far out for um you know the average use of it is probably be, be a little closer than that more like seven yards but um it shot fine had no failures or anything like that it just the accuracy was a little bit off and um i don't know but other than that, I mean, it's, it's a nice gun. It feels nice. It's well built. That's for sure. It's all stainless. So, uh, yeah.
So if you're looking for something that you want, like for carry, that's not a 38, you want a 357, just in case you want to use 357, uh, this would be a good option. It's made by Ruger, so it's a good brand name with good uh, service. And yeah, it'll last you forever. So again, this is the Ruger SP uh, 101. I don't know if you can read it. And it's in... It's in the 357 Magnum. But I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you have a good day.